Hey guys, it's Angelo from KamatoCook.com. I've been doing the recipe videos, giving you guys some cool recipes, some new different things to make, but the number one questions I always get are about my accessories, about the thermometer, about the gloves, about everything else that I use while doing the recipe. So today, I'm gonna to talk about my gloves. These are by far the number one most asked about thing, and they're honestly one of my favorite things, or at least the most useful things that I use. So. These are called the Artisan Griller High Heat Gloves. I will have a link in the description. They're about 20 bucks. They come in a bunch of different sizes. The reason I love these more than any other high heat glove is because of what they're made out of. This is, I'm not a scientist or a manufacturer, but this is some sort of waterproof rubber. And what really makes it amazing is it's very malleable, meaning it's flexible. My hand can get in here nice and easy and look at that control over my fingers. That's important because if I'm grabbing things, I don't want stiff, rigid fingers because my glove is this thick and there's no movement. So tons of nice, easy movement. The other reason that these are so great is this sort of rubber texture, whatever it is, A, it can really withstand the heat. I mean, you can just grab hot coals, no issue. Obviously, I don't do that, but every now and then I will move the coals a little bit with my hand instead of the poker, or more often than not, I'm just grabbing the hot grates, grabbing my heat deflector, moving it out of the way, and it's never an issue. But the rubber, the rubber, it doesn't absorb anything. So this can touch food. I use this to grab a hot pork butt, grab a hot brisket, whether foil, no foil. I use this, if you watch any of my videos with the jotisserie, where I hold it and I shave, I use these gloves because I can grab it, I can hold it, this can touch the food and it's not a problem. And the reason it's so easy and convenient is because I can wash them. I literally, this is how I wash them. I turn the sink on, I put soap and water and I wash them just as if I'm washing my normal hands. People will always say, every the number one question I see is, what gloves does everybody use? And people are always recommending, oh, just use welding gloves. Yeah, and welding gloves are like $4 instead of 20, but they're made of leather. They absorb, the grease sticks to it. If you're literally only touching hot wood or the hot grate, then welding gloves are fine. But these can touch food and have no issues whatsoever. The other thing I see is there's like half cotton and they have grips and they withstand the heat well. But again, the cotton will absorb barbecue sauce, grease, all the stuff that you touch while cooking will be absorbed into that cotton. But these go all the way up your forearm. I'm a pretty big guy, so this is going pretty far. It goes all the way up your forearm to protect from burns, but also just the gook and crud that you touch while cooking. So these are by far the best high heat gloves I have ever used, ever, ever, ever. I will have a link in the description. They're super cheap and they're one day shipping on Amazon, which means if you click the button now, you will have them tomorrow. You don't have to wait a week, two weeks, four days, five days, whatever it is. Super easy, super cheap, by far my most used and honestly, most highly recommended accessory for the Kamado Joe. Like, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions below. I will be doing more videos like this for all of the other accessories that you guys asked about constantly because it's easier to do a couple of these five minute videos than it is to do a 25 minute one going on and on and on. I will see you, I don't know, next time.